Mats Madhu. We are the children, we are the children, the children of God. Tam Kam Kam. We change our world, we have what it takes to do it smart and make it smart. Welcome to our world, Smart Do. Welcome, our great force, once again for our CLA lesson. I hope you're doing well. I'm also doing very fine. Now, we are still going on with the uh, sub, uh, sub strands uh, of uh, the strand teachings of Jesus Christ. And today, we're going to look at helping those in need. What did Jesus teach about helping those who are in need? Now, when we talk about uh, a person, a person who is in need. What does that mean? What does that mean? Yes? Yes. It means that uh, this is a person who wants your assistance. Assistance. This is a person who wants your assistance. Assistance. A person who wants your, your help because uh, they cannot uh, achieve or they cannot get something that uh, they want. So therefore, a person in need is one who wants your assistance or help. Now, there are many such people in the communities that we live in. In the community, there are so many people who are in need and uh, they always want to, uh, our help. For example, let me give you an example. We have the orphans. You have the orphans. I hope you understand that the orphans are children whose parents have died. So, orphans need a lot of help from us. Why? We shall look at that. Other people who are in need include, yes, uh -huh. we have the poor, the poor people in the, in the community. We have the poor people. Uh -huh. Another group, yes, uh -huh. we have the old, the old, also referred to as the aged. The old or the aged. Uh -huh. Another group of people who need our help? Yes, sir. We have street children. Street uh, children. Yes. And I'm sure in our towns, in our different towns, localities, we have been able to come across street children. Any other group of people who need help? Yes. Uh -huh. Try. Uh -huh. We have... Uh, uh, those uh, we may refer to as uh, the widows, the widows, the widows. We had mentioned earlier on when we were looking at uh, uh, the miracles of Jesus. We mentioned who is a widow, and he said is a woman whose husband has uh, died. And so, therefore, all these people, all these people, are uh, require a lot of help. We also have people with disabilities. We have people with disabilities. Yes. Like the blind, the deaf, the dumb, all these need our help. Now, what kind of help can we give them? What help? What help can we give them? What is the help that we can give them? One, we will provide them with clothes. We may provide them with clothes. Another one is that we may provide them with food. We may provide them with food. At times, we can also get shelter. We can build some simple structures for them. We can also get education for those uh, maybe who are still children, young enough to, to go to school. We can provide education for them. At times, we can employ them. Can be, we can provide employment for them, maybe in our home, so that they can uh, start uh, earning uh, some money. We can also provide them with guidance. Guidance uh, and uh, counseling. Guidance and uh, counseling. All these uh, are some of the things that we can offer them so that uh, they are able to live uh, comfortable lives. So what does the Bible teach us about uh, taking care of the old, of the of the needy in the society. Matthew chapter 5, verse 42. When, uh, when, 
Corinthians okay Matthew chapter 5 verse uh, 42 it says this when some, someone asks you for something give it to them when someone wants to borrow something lend it to them now look at that when someone asks you uh, asks you for something give it to them when someone wants to borrow something lend it to them so that means what it means that that it means that we should be ready. The Bible teaches us that we should always be ready to offer help. We should be ready to offer any help that we can to anybody who, who needs it. If someone wants something from us, we should be able to help them. And once we give them, we should not, we should not uh, demand, demand uh, back that uh, help. We should not be demand back that help, that because I have helped you, therefore you should help me tomorrow. No, it is not for us to demand that, uh, that what, that help that you have given. Or if you have given something, uh, don't go demanding it, uh, 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 it uh, from uh, back. Don't go demanding it uh, back from that uh, person. By helping others, we show that we are compassionate. Compassionate to others. Now, what does it mean to be compassionate? That we feel for them. We feel for them because they do not have what they need. So we have feelings for them. And this is where well shown by Jesus Christ as he moved around, he preached, he fed the people, he healed them uh, of diseases, uh, he, he, he did what? He raised the, those who had died, and in that shows he had feelings for them. And that's the same thing, we should show a compassion, we should show that we have feelings uh, for those who are in need in the society. So therefore, whenever you have something, Somebody does not even need to borrow you for you to know that they need it. At times, we have street children, as they're walking around, you can buy something and share it with them. And once you do that, you'll be very much blessed. Thank you for listening. I hope you have enjoyed the lesson. So let's continue doing good until next time. Goodbye.